Hi guys, welcome back to Oracle SQL and PL SQL group. So, in my previous video, we have discussed about subprograms, procedures, functions, and the main program called package. Now, today we are going to discuss about triggers. What is trigger and what is the use of trigger and why we are going for trigger? Let us see what are those and all. So, trigger. Trigger is like a stored procedure that Oracle database invokes automatically whenever a specific event occurs. Like a stored procedure, trigger is a named PLSQL block that is stored in the DB and can be invoked repeatedly. Unlike a stored procedure, you can also enable or disable a trigger, but you cannot explicitly invoke it. You can only implicitly invoke a trigger. While a trigger is enabled, the database automatically invokes it and whenever a triggering event is occurs, when a trigger is disabled, it doesn't matter. We can create the trigger on trigger tables, schemas, views and database. So by default, trigger is created as a enabled mode. We can create a trigger by using create trigger statement. We can specify the trigger events in terms of triggering statements. We can specify the timing point that determines wherever or whatever trigger fires before or after or before row level, before statement level or before any DML or after any DML statement. So. If you are creating a trigger on a table or view, then the triggering event will be composed by DML statements. This is called as DML trigger. So, if you see here in this diagram, we have table, schema, view and database. So, when you are creating a trigger on table or view, that time this will be called as DML trigger. When, say for example, if you are going to create a trigger on schema or database, then this will be called as a system trigger so if we are creating trigger on a schema or database we will be using dml or database operation statements this will be called as system level trigger so we have so many types of triggers in database if you ask me what are those totally we have 14 types of triggers in database before row level after row level before statement level after statement level before delete after delete before update after update before insert after insert and instead of trigger so totally we have 14 types in oracle database so this is the general syntax of a trigger and this is a simple example of trigger and this is also a basic example of a trigger so when you ask me what are the uses of triggers, we have so many uses of triggers in Oracle database. The first one is automatically generates virtual column values. So by using triggers in Oracle database, we can automatically generate virtual column values. We can also prevent invalid transactions. We can modify table data when a DML issued against views. So this is called as instead of trigger friends. So by using instead of trigger, we can modify the table data when a DML issued against views. We can prevent DML operations after business hours. And also the one more main advantage is that we can enforce the referential integrity when child or parent tables are on different nodes of a distribution system. And the other advantage is that publishing the information about the db events or user events and also log events also the very good advantage of oracle trigger so and the other one is that we can enforce complex business rules by using the triggers when you say complex business rules those are not can those are not performed by constraints that means Whatever the business rules cannot be defined with constraints, those can be defined by trigger. So trigger and constraints are both work as a similar way friends. So when you ask me the difference between constraint and trigger, constraint can apply to either new data or old data or on both the data. 
but trigger is only applies to new data because whenever we are creating a table the constraint must be specified that means constraint must be specified while creating a table whereas it is not required for trigger trigger will be created after creating the table so this is the uh, one main difference between trigger and constraint so in this slide if you see this diagram this is a simple example for security purpose that means we can specify a particular time here and we can whenever a user or whenever a person is going to perform dml operations on db we can prevent him to do the operations on non business hours or non non working days so this is all about triggers friends thank you